Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, please do check the description box below. There's tons of information there for you. So please do go check that out. Private readings, uh, decks on musing, just a whole bunch of stuff there. So uh, be greatly appreciated if you could check that out. And before we get started here, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you to those who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's get started for Capricorn. Hope everybody's doing well. If you can believe we're in the first half of August already. Where is time going? So Capricorn, this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign, element, or planet energy. And we'll see how that plays into a reading. If you feel like this part doesn't resonate for you, that's totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you. So please keep that in mind. All right. So... Let's see for Capricorn, what kind of energy spirit, please, could be around some Capricorns for the first half of August for this love connection reading. What may some of them, oh, that's way too many. Just want one card, please. Spirit, just one card, thank you so much. For Capricorn in love, first half of August, please. All right, we'll take this one. It's all messed up. Okay. Venus. Oh, so this is the planet of love. All things love about the planet of Venus. And this is, I believe, uh, Libra and Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, or you could have one of those signs in your chart, or maybe a person has Libra or Taurus heavily somewhere in their chart. But this is definitely about love, and this is a love reading. So, and Venus is the planet of all things about love. All right. So, with this deck here, oh, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn. Okay. So, this deck here, we will get first, like, an overall love energy. So, what's the overall love energy like for Capricorn? first half of August spirit please the Capricorn this love connection reading the first half of August what is the love connection like for some Capricorns out there watching this please thank you so much just one card one card we'll take that one let's see what your love energy like is like triggers number nine Okay, so triggers can be a bad thing, can be a good thing. And you know, doesn't necessarily always have to be bad. Um, triggers is what sparks in, like an instant reaction to something. So you do have nine on there, if you could see that. You know, nines are about uh, wishes coming true. It's about, you know, being very um, independent. It's also about um, being stressed out and anxious. It's also about being um, like a wounded warrior. Like you've been through a struggle, but you keep going. So I don't know. We'll see how that plays in, but something here with triggers. It could be because we have the Venus planet here coming up. Maybe um, something is triggering you with your person. Um, in this connection maybe in a good way I don't know so let's get one card for you we shall see as we go on here but something something about this connection is triggering some kind of um, reactions within you whether it's good or it's bad or whatever it is here something is in them is triggering something in you and it could be like those feelings of love and emotions it could be uh, fear it could be um, anything 
So I don't know. We'll see. So I think this is your card. How are you feeling? Reliable. So this is how you are feeling and how you're feeling about them in this connection. So we have reliable here. So you feel like, you know, this person in this connection is something that is very trustworthy. Uh, you see potential in it. You see potential for growth, expansion. Um, it's just a very reliable, like that person's always there for you. And you have eight and three, which is 11. And then that equals two, which is about two people coming together. So maybe, you know, this person always being there for you and always has your back. You know, maybe it started as a friendship and they were always there for you, a very reliable, trustworthy friend. And maybe that triggered something in you. And now you're starting to have deeper feelings for this person. Is also kind of what I'm getting. So let's see how your person is feeling about you in this connection. Breathe. 22. And then you add that together. That's four. So that is about stability. So your person's needing a minute to uh, just take a break. Uh, take time for themselves. Just kind of breathe and relax and think about things kind of like a pause so for some reason here they're needing to um, they're just needing needing to concentrate on themselves for a minute there's something that maybe something also triggered something in them about you also and now they're having a minute they need a minute here just to breathe relax think about things calm down just take it all in and just see where this goes Right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have vibration, and then we have 14, which is five, which is about change. In vibration, maybe you guys are in this vibration of all, all of a sudden having this trigger, like, well, we were friends, but now all of a sudden starting to have more than friends feelings towards maybe each other. And you may be vibrating in the same vibration, whether you know it or not. If you feel that, they also may feel that. So, I don't know. We'll see. Or there's a need here to um, raise your vibration in some way. You know, make um, be in a more positive mindset about this. If they're needing a minute, maybe you told them how you felt. And now they're like, what? And, you know, they need just a minute to process this, like a minute just to breathe and take it all in and just, you know, figure everything out. Um, and maybe, you know, you're a little, like, taken aback by that. Maybe that also triggered you. And maybe you've fallen, like, not in a depression, but maybe a sad energy or a fair energy. And maybe this is telling you here you also need to raise your vibration. So it could go either way. You could either both be vibrating at the same level, having the same feelings towards each other, or one is needing to raise their vibration up to meet the other one. All right, so let's get um, clarity for you, Capricorn. You have reliable here. What's going on with you? So we have the two of swords. So air energy here. And uh, Venus here is um, Libra and Taurus, I think I said. So this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So if this is a Libra you're dealing with, I see you have them on your mind. And wondering here, you know, like a very indecisive energy. So maybe that's why they took a minute to try to decide, figure all this out. And uh, it's got you a little worried here because this is a very indecisive energy. And that could be what is triggering you um, because of their all of a sudden taken aback by this and just needing to step away and figure it all out and decide whether or not they want to go beyond friends. Maybe that puts you in a lower vibration. But, uh, but you both could be, you know, on the same level of vibration. It's just that, you know, they're having a trigger here of like fear. And confusion and they're needing just a minute to figure it out because we have the two of swords here 
So I think you, you're not sure about what they're going to do either with the two of swords here. You know, you're kind of like, okay, what, what's going to happen in this situation? You're not quite sure either. And they don't know what to do either. So you're both kind of on the same, definitely vibrating on the same level, I feel. And both having triggers in different ways. So let's see. Um, let's get one card for them. Why are they needing a minute to breathe here? Why are they needing a minute to breathe here about you and this connection spirit, please? Why do we have breathe here? All right. Well, we got two cards for them. So we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Ace of Wands. So, so they definitely could be a Libra or an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So, so this is the fiery, passionate new beginning so they're trying to decide here also with the sword energy, do they want to step into this or do they not want to step into this? With the sword here, you could cut away any um, anything you know that you don't want in your life. It's clear thinking, it's making decisions, it's truth and honesty and that sort of thing. So I feel like if she's kind of sitting here contemplating, so is it this person. So you may have a fiery, I don't know if you've been intimate yet. I mean, you could have been, and maybe that's what crossed the line here and crossed this trigger. And I think this person's really needing this minute here to decide whether or not they want to pursue this and have this passionate new beginning with you. Wow. Okay, so let's see what the actual situation is here. So we have the Six of Swords. That's a nice energy. The Two of Wands. And strength wow so ear energy again here fire energy again here and now we have Leo energy here with strength <clears throat> so connecting to you is the six of swords so you you know you want to um, go in a better place I feel with this person in this connection you know if there were any troubles in the past or anything like that this is definitely going into a better place a more calm peaceful harmonious uh, place here balanced place and then connecting them over here is strength so I think they're mustering up all their strength and courage here to decide what to do in this situation and I feel it's a very strong connection with the strength card here a very strong passionate connection between the two of you that maybe took you by surprise um, and that could be where you rise up at the same vibration with all this passion, which also caused triggers of like crossing a line or uh, between friendship and lovers or having fear, having doubts, um, maybe having other feelings also that may arise with this. You know, where, where will this go from here? Will it turn into something long term? Is it just a temporary fling? You know. Will it ruin our friendship? You know, just a whole bunch of stuff coming up there. But connecting the two of you is the two of wands. So again, two, again, you got the two of swords there, the two of wands there. So decisions need to be made about this connection. Uh, and what direction is it going to go in? It can go in a more, you want it to go in a more peaceful, harmonious place. And they're trying to decide here um, what to do. And they're feeling the strong connection and the passion and the desire and all that sort of energy. So they have strength and the Ace of Wands. So very fiery, heavy, passionate connection here. So, you know, d decisions need to be made here. Do we want to keep going? I feel it will go in a good place here with the Six of Swords energy. It's a very strong connection. But decisions and... Um, plans need to be made about the connection and how it's going to progress forward as with the six of swords energy so let's see what your advice is capricorn going forward in this connection so we have the high priestess and we have the nine of wands so you want to keep fighting so it is to keep fighting for this connection with the nine of wands and they are clarifying what the triggers there the nine this is the wounded warrior that keeps on fighting and then we have the high priestess cancer scorpio uh, Pisces, I mean. So this is, you know, very intuitive, trusting your gut feeling, your inner knowing, your intuition, and that sort of energy. 
I feel like you're trusting your intuition that this could go in a good place. But the high priestess also doesn't say anything. She keeps everything to herself. So I think you know you want to keep fighting for this connection. Uh, you feel it's very passionate. Uh, we don't have any cups yet, but we'll see as we go on here. So you want to keep fighting for this fiery, passionate connection. You know, you don't want to give up on it. But so your advice is to keep fighting for it, but to be silent, <laughs> to really think about, is this what you want? You know, go deep within and listen to your gut, your intuition, and know that is this something you really want to fight for? That's your advice. So let's see what the possible outcome could be. So we have the King of Pentacles. So it's Earth energy, and here's your Earth energy, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is, you know, wanting to build, building long-term, stable, sturdy, grounded kind of energy, growth, expansion, very trustworthy and loyal, uh, practical, smart kind of energy. So I do see something here that could be long-term, that could be, a slow steady uh, growth process but it could be very stable and abundant in the future all right so let's get more clarification here or this could be your energy I mean this is you just finally going off on your own and doing your own thing and being single the king of Pentacles energy but I don't know let's get more clarification here so now we have the five of cups so this is sad water energy so now we have some cups so this is sadness heartbreak and sorrow in some way a uh, loss hmm. queen of wands so this is someone i definitely feel like this person over here if they're not a libra definitely could be a fire sign so um or maybe you or them are trying to decide between two people because we do have fire and air. So, I mean, if that resonates, because now we have the Queen of Wands. And we have Strength over here. The Ace of Wands over here. Um, if that resonates with anybody, you know, maybe somebody has a connection here with two people trying to decide which one uh, they want to go for. But now we have the Queen of Wands. So this is someone who's very fiery, passionate, go-getter, enthusiastic kind of energy. They go after what they want. They're very successful, creative kind of energy. Oh boy. So I feel like somebody, if somebody is choosing between two, uh, they may choose the fire sign. And that's why we have the loss and the, and the hurt and the sorrow over here. Because somebody, if there's three people involved, um, somebody will be hurt. And then we have the four of cups. So, you know, wow. So this is an energy of not, you know, offer coming in, but nobody's accepting it or nobody's giving an offer. I call this the block card. You're kind of bored of discontent. Um, not really looking at any offers. No offers coming in. You're not giving any offers either. Ignoring offers. Contemplating about offers is just... A very disenchanted energy here so you got the four and the five of cups or uh, this Queen of Wands person here might be the one uh, cut out of the situation here and that's why you have hurt and loss so we have the moon so we have the cancer Pisces energy again so this is you know kind of secretive energy here so Capricorn I don't know if you're dealing with two people here or if Capricorn you're a third person um, I'm not sensing that I'm sensing if you're a female watching this I don't know you could be involved with two other people or if you're a male you could be involved with an air sign and a fire sign and this is secret and illusions and things you know not totally being revealed so I feel like if you were seeing somebody else, you're not telling the other person. And something's triggered here. So maybe one of them kind of with the high priestess kind of uh, has that uh, feeling something's going on. Even though that's your advice, it is still there. Uh, your advice may be that, 
you know, one of them is probably going to figure it out. And it depends what connection you want to fight for. And this is you standing in your King of Pentacles energy having to make a decision. Which person do you want to invest in? All right. So, yep. So here's judgment. So here's <clears throat> needing to make a judgment call, needing to make a final decision here. Um, this also is could be a resurrection of a relationship of the past. So maybe one of these people you've been dating a long time, maybe you've known since childhood or high school days, but this is also forgiveness. So maybe, you know, if you have to cut out one person, you're going to ask for forgiveness or this could be the energy of this is Scorpio just needing to make a final decision here, making that judgment call. Six of Cups. Okay, and I had just said maybe one of these people is somebody you have known since childhood, dated childhood, uh, childhood sweetheart. Six of Cups is that all that past energy of your childhood, um, nostalgia, memories of the past. So um, I definitely feel like here you need to make a judgment call on somebody new or somebody you know from the past. So you may have two people in mind. You may have a queen of swords and you may have a fire sign. And I feel like the fire sign really feels that strong connection with you. But you have the ear sign on your mind. And this fire sign might get cut out and be very heartbroken and distraught over this. I feel like... Um, I feel like they really love you, the fire sign, and they're very passionate for you. But for some reason, you have this air sign on your mind because you that came out in your energy. And Venus is Libra or Taurus, so Libra is an air sign. So let's see. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups. So here's a brand new beginning in love. So you will choose one person here and you will give them your cup of love and solely to them. Uh, this is emotions and fulfillment and a brand new start in love here. You know, a peaceful um, offer of love, love and emotions. And there's the Ace of Swords. Okay, so I definitely feel like you will choose the air sign. Here's the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, truth, clarity, epiphany. Uh, ace uh, sword of uh, victory um, communication you may be communicating to this air sign I choose you here's my cup of love and this could be the person you've known uh, since childhood so yep truth clarity um, standing up for the connection cutting away something else which could be this fire sign and standing in victory with your air sign. Two of cups. So again, there's two people coming together. Soulmate energy. So this may, be a, may have been a strong, passionate connection with the fire sign. Um, and they may have been the one uh, more in love with you. But you got the two of cups here coming under the ace of swords. So I think this sword is your divinely guided soulmate. There's two people coming together in one in unity. And there's the offer, you know, apologies, offer, you know, here's my love, here's loving communication, and things of that nature. King of Swords. So, yeah, <laughs> King or Queen, I definitely feel like you'll be choosing this air sign here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. want to see what's under that one yep so then we have fire again with the king or queen of wands and the eight of cups so i think you'll be walking away from this fire sign yep you'll be walking away from this fire sign with the eight of cups and the king of wands and walking to your air sign which i, I think you feel is your soulmate energy here and you may vibrate on the same level with them. 
So there was a lot of triggers here, whether that was, you know, one person found out about the other person and they both gave you ultimatums. You had to choose here. They both had to, uh, you got two, two there. So I mean, <laughs> and breathe. I feel like they were both like taken aback by this. And what was your card here? Uh, reliable. So, I mean, you could be a reliable person, but to have, you know, I don't know if you're just dating two and now you really have to decide which one that you wanted. And I definitely feel that air sign energy there. All right. So, and maybe, you know, both of them felt like soulmates to you. But I do see air all over this, especially near the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and then the King of Wands with the Eight of Cups walking away from that uh, sign. And then with the Four and the Five over here near the Queen of Wands and the Moon, I definitely feel like uh, you'll be walking away from this fire sign. All right. So let's get some extra energy here. The Capricorn, oh, it's way too many. Extra energy for Capricorn, first half of August. And this also could be two people you've known since, you know, childhood or high school or for a very long time. So whatever, the, how this resonates for you. All right. And maybe, you know, over here, this fire sign was fighting like heck for your attention. All right. So let's get some extra energy. Wow. That's a lot. What do we have here? No, that's too many. That's too many. The Capricorn. Take this one angel of strength wow so <laughs> maybe for some of you you'll be if this resonates for some some may be choosing an, a fire sign some may be choosing an air sign i don't know but now we have leo energy fire energy with the angel of strength so i do feel like you felt these were very two strong soulmate connections here and while wow, we have 22 here 22 there yin and yang uh, very balanced energy, uh, you know, feminine, masculine energy, balancing each other out in some way here. I think maybe you felt very balanced with both, but ultimately you had to decide which uh, soulmate here do you choose. And definitely here, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. So that is um, the throat chakra, which is about communication and communication is all about the air signs. So, yeah, definitely here I feel like probably have chosen an ear sign, which will bring, wow, blossoming abundance, cornucopia. Yep. So a lot of abundance and growth, prosperity um, with whichever one you choose here. I think whichever one you choose will be the right decision but I heavily feel like you'll probably be choosing an air sign that resonates for some if not it could be any sign I just see a decision here uh, between two soulmates and really having to decide um, which one that you vibrate at a higher level with which one um, maybe with triggers you know will push you to grow and expand and face some um, aspects of yourself to heal Wow. Okay, uh, Capricorn. Uh, that was your first half of August reading. If it resonated for you, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. And hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do general and love bi-weekly, so don't miss out on that. So best of luck to you in here, you know, here with every decision you make. And sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.